The American League East division right now is the best in baseball. Spoiler, every team is above 500 and it's on pace to be the best division of all time for a single season. Wow. As always, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. But the AL East has been consistently great and a topic of conversation for years. There was an article published in 2009 claiming the AL East was the best that year. Although their argument mainly stems from postseason success, combined rather than win-loss record throughout the regular season. Originally, the AL East consisted of six teams, and one of them was not the Rays, as they were not a team yet. In addition to the Yankees, Red Sox, and Orioles, the division had the Milwaukee Brewers, Cleveland Indians, and Washington Senators, a team that no longer exists. And what makes it so great? During the 54 years that this division has existed, an AL East team has gone to the World Series 27 times and has won 16 of those. Now, of course, the Yankees have carried that total, but don't forget the Red Sox have won four times since the turn of the century and made two appearances where they didn't win in 1975 and 1986. The Orioles have appeared in the Fall Classic six times in franchise history and won three of those. The Blue Jays were back-to-back -back winners in 1992 and 1993, and then we have the Rays that were founded in 1998 and have made two World Series appearances, and unfortunately for them have not gotten a ring yet. In particular to this year in 2023 though, the AL East has gotten significantly better than it even was last year. All five teams were above 500 at some point last year, but that was short-lived. This year, it seems like it's going to be sustainable, and the reason for that is because of the balanced schedule that MLB drew up this year. Before, the AL East played like 50 games against each other, and this year, they cut that number in half. So now, the AL East will play not only all of the American League teams more often, they'll also play all of the National League teams. Which means that now, we're not consistently driving our records down in the AL East, so the Yankees can't constantly beat the Red Sox, and the Red Sox can't constantly beat the Blue Jays. In divisions that are weaker, like the AL Central, this thing can really help boost their numbers. For example, the Cleveland Guardians, playing the Royals all the time, definitely boosted their numbers in a season such as last year. I'm sure they're going to turn things around at some point, but it's one of those things where you wonder if some of these teams that were boosting their stats, so to speak, are going to fare worse off in the future because of this new balance schedule. According to this article written by Sarah Langs at the beginning of this month on May 1st, the AL East at that time had a 670 win percentage outside the division. That is just ridiculous and it proves the point I mentioned earlier about playing all these other teams and since the AL East is such a strong group, naturally they're going to perform better against the other teams. And as of May 1st, the AL East had a combined 623 win percentage. Divisions began in 1969, which was the birth of the AL East, and in that span, the best combined winning percentage for a single season was 566 by the 2002 AL West. <laughs> and right now, it's around 600. So the AL East is definitely on the fast track to being the all-time greatest division by the time this year is said and done. As if this isn't impressive enough, the AL East has five teams. The AL West, back when that record was set, had only four teams. So the fact that five teams are able to sustain this kind of success just goes to show the caliber of this division. With that being said, let me know in the comments down below if you think that the AL East can sustain this for the rest of the year and become the greatest division in baseball history. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.